Welcome back! It's Brighter Life, and today we are offering 5 things you need to know about stem cell treatments. All statements are derived from the International Society for Stem Cell Research. For more information, visit their website here. Stem cells have a lot of uses in the medical field. For instance, they are used to treat and understand a range of diseases and other health-related conditions, some of which include leukemia, diseases of injuries to the bone, skin and surface of the eyes, and tissue grafting. There is still much to learn about stem cells, and oftentimes, the media exaggerates the potential they have. People who also do not fully understand the science and limitations brought by stem cell research also have the potential to spread false information. Fact number one. As of now, there are only a few stem cell treatments that are proven to be effective. The best defined and most extensively used stem cell treatment is hematopoietic or blood stem cell transplantation. For example, bone marrow transplantation to treat certain blood and immune system disorders or to rebuild the blood system after treatments for some kinds of cancer. These procedures are widely accepted as safe and effective by the medical community. All other applications of stem cells are yet to be proven in clinical trials and should be considered highly experimental. Caution to the public. Be mindful of stem cell treatments that do not have regulatory approval or are outside the clinical trials. Fact number two, it is a risk to try unproven treatment. When there is no existing or effective treatment for a disease or condition, it is easy to understand why you may feel there is nothing to lose from trying something new, even if it isn't proven. Unfortunately, most of the unproven stem cell treatments for sale throughout the world carry very little promise of actual benefit and very real risks. For example, complications can lead to short or long-term health problems and or may make conditions or symptoms more difficult to manage. Being a recipient in unproven or experimental treatments may make you ineligible for future clinical trials or evidence-based treatment options. Expenses can be devastating. Most of the time, insurance companies and government health programs do not cover the cost of experimental or unproven treatments. Fact number three, the different kinds of stem cells have different uses in the body. Without manipulation in the lab, tissue-specific stem cells can only generate the other cell types found in the tissues where they live. For example, the blood-forming stem cells found in bone marrow regenerate the cells in blood, while neural stem cells in the brain make brain cells. A blood stem cell won't spontaneously make a brain cell and vice versa. Thus, it is unlikely that a single cell type can be used to treat a multitude of unrelated diseases involving different tissues or organs. Caution to the public. Be on the lookout for clinics that offer treatments with stem cells originating from a part of your body that is completely unrelated to the disease or condition you have. Fact number four. Cells from your own body are not automatically safe when used in treatments. In theory, your immune system would not attack your own cells if they were used in a transplant. The use of a patient's own cells is called an autonomous transplant. However, the processes by which the cells were acquired, grown, and then reintroduced into the body would carry risks. Here are just a few known risks of autologous stem cell treatments. Anytime cells are removed from your body, there is a risk that they may be contaminated with viruses, bacteria, or other pathogens that could cause disease when reintroduced back to the body. Manipulation of cells by a clinic may interfere with their normal function, including those that control cell growth. How and where the cells are put back into your body matters, and some clinics inject cells into places where they are not normally present and do not belong. Fact number five, 
patient testimonials and other marketing strategies provided by clinics may be misleading. It can be hard to tell the difference between doctors conducting responsible clinical trials and clinics selling unfaithful treatments. To know the difference, one tip could be looking at the way a treatment is marketed. Most specialized doctors receive patient referrals, while clinics selling stem cell treatments that are unproven tend to market directly to patients, often through persuasive language on the internet, Facebook, and in newspaper advertisements and other social media. Overall, it is important that the things we see being advertised online, especially if they are concerning our bodies, are heavily analyzed and thoroughly researched. This has been Brother Life. Thank you for watching.